The subject I'd like to address is Pebbles. It is one of those things that is a hot topic of conversation, and I think it deserves a little bit of a history lesson. I'm, I'm lucky enough to have worked in an engine lab, so I've done some pretty extensive studies on uh, in bolt fasteners, and, and really we did it on exhaust and intakes, and we did many of them. So this is some time ago, and my background there was skeptical, I'll admit. But over time, I became a believer that head bolts, even in small block Chevrolets, actually stretch. So our recommendation, and in many cases, the recommendation of, of the industry is to replace the head bolts. Now, not in every single case do we do that, but in many of the later model cases, it's if you change cylinder head gasket, and in some cases, it's even intake gasket. There is a recommended standard to replace the bolt. So as I travel across the country and I may see technicians or I may be putting on a seminar somewhere, the question will come up, well, how much does that bolt stretch? I've measured them and I don't see a difference. Well, I think, unfortunately, we failed to tell the whole story. So I'll condense it down as quick as possible. When the original studies had been done, the head bolts like this, similar, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Cummins, Caterpillar, whatever it may have been, were measured before installation. And to ensure the maximum accuracy, the head was ground flat and the base was ground flat. And they were measured ultrasonically. So we could tell a small change in the fastener. So as we tightened it back in the day to a specific torque or torque to yield, where you may have the fastener is 45 foot pounds or 60 foot pounds plus 45 degrees or 30 foot pounds, 45 degrees, and then another 45 degrees. Well, all of that was determined by measuring the amount of stretch on that fastener. It just wasn't a lucky guess. So maybe we failed to fill that gap in before. So that's why we today, in many applications, would believe that the technician will really improve the reliability of that installation to put new fasteners in. So when we recommend a head bolt set, or a manifold set of fasteners for that particular application, we're not necessarily doing that just to sell you more product. We're doing that because it's an important and valued asset into that assembly. So don't think you can just take the bolt out after and measure it, and they all seem close because you put a caliper on it. The amount of stretch may be small. The amount of total deflection may be small. The big difference is it will apply a different amount of load. Since there's some variability in the fasteners, you don't want to take any chances at this. So please, when you're doing some job that is important, that we have determined you need to replace head bolts, it is really in your best interest to do it. And I hope I've tried to fill some of the background in so you understand why that's important. Thank you for listening. This is Tim Bologna.